Hello my friends, here in part 7 I will show you how to attach the comb to the Windsor chair. The spindles are spaced evenly across the back and clamped into position. And what you want to do now, since the spindles vary in lengths, you want to mark the, where they will go in flush with the comb. And then, once we have this marked, we trace the sides of the spin spindles onto the side of the comb. Okay, then we mark mark each location. Now we're ready for cutting these all to the same height. I marked all these. Now I'll cut at the top of these lines. My lines are still on there, so that will let me know the depth of which I drive the comb on after it's drilled. Now the top edges, they're square. What I want to do is chamfer them. So I'm just going to use sandpaper. These holes need to be drilled um, one inch deep and when I drill these I have to pilot them I have to drill at the angle at which the spindles are going to come and meet Now we take those holes to 3 8 inch. Glue's been placed on all the spindles and inside the holes. And now we start attaching. And we drive these down to the marks that we put on there. After these are driven in, now we're going to set pins from the front side. I have this marked so that I won't go all the way through. It'll be a blind hole. And it's a 3 16 These pins were cut from a piece of scrap. Thanks for watching my friends.
บาย